difficult game today, but an important point. Yeah, uh, important point. Obviously, every point counts. But I felt like today was two points dropped. Uh, they didn't really threaten much today. I think we've done well to notify their threats uh, from the counter attack because we had much of the ball today. We had a few chances where I think we could have scored, but that's the game. Yeah, so it's one of those games, isn't it? It gets a little bit tall, fright, oh, I don't say frightening, but, but very taut, very dangerous. The fact that if you're not scoring, the fact that potentially you could uh, let one in the other end. Yeah, of course, that's the uh, main thing. When we've got the ball, we just got to stay concentrated uh, in case the ball comes the other way. But I thought everyone was uh, good from, from Simmer all the way up to the, to the top. But yeah, as I said, it was just unlucky today. There's two draws over the Easter weekend and, and virtually, well, a, a place in the playoffs guaranteed uh, for, for Harriers. Uh, still plenty to play for, but six points adrift of five? Yeah, of course, but well, we need to concentrate on ourselves, uh, hopefully build on this, keep momentum going. I feel like we've been a bit up and down with the games. One game we've played well, one game we haven't, so hopefully we can build some momentum uh, and consistency leading up to, to the playoffs. And of course, from your own position as well, coming back in after injury, how do you feel after the day's game? Uh, not too bad. Uh, a few things that I didn't do so well and some things that I, I did well. But it's good to be back out there after, for me, it was a, it was a long time, aren't it? Three or four weeks, uh, you know, it's not for me, I wasn't enjoying it, but I'm good to, uh, happy to be out there. And, uh, and you look ahead, you know, you've got a game on Saturday now, a long trip up to Blythe. Yeah, we've got a fully fit squad, a uh, bit of a headache for the gaffer to pick, but everyone's on it, everyone's pushing each other. I think it showed out there. I don't think anyone wants to give up their position. Uh, so it's half a competition, just hopefully, yeah, we do well up there. This is your first season in National League North. It's uh, it's been a tough, tough old season so far. Yeah, no, it's been good. It's been up and down. We've had the highs and the lows, but uh, overall, I've enjoyed it. My time here, all the lads have been cracking. Everyone's staff. It's, it's been good, and hopefully, we can end on a high. And of course, the, the aim at the end of the day will be to win the playoffs. Yeah, of course, that's that's the aim. We just need to win every game we can from here until to the end of the season. That's that's the aim. Well, uh, that'll be the case. Thank you very much, Gerard. Thank you. Uh, just touching on on kind of today again. How did you feel that the game kind of played out? Because it felt as though we had control of the game almost from from start to finish. But I guess it was just a, that, that final touch really that was missing. Yeah, uh, it's them type of games you get a bit frustrated. Uh, sometimes you end up forcing it myself, a few other players few wild passes, uh, trying to force it, but uh, that's the game. We have to build uh, build from this and just try to not to be more calm uh, in front of gold. And just to kind of emphasise what you made there, in terms of the four games we have left, you've got to go into that playoff picture with a bit of momentum, and I wouldn't say standards because the standards are always good, but you want to be in good form going into the day, Yeah, you? of course. No one, listen, no one likes to lose. Everyone hates losing. Draws ain't too bad, but not great. Well, we just need to be winning as, as many games as we can. As I said, build some momentum and consistency going into the playoffs.